Hi guys, welcome to this second tutorial on editing. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make a good color correction using After Effects and Magic Bullet. Uh, we're gonna add an um, adjustment layer over our clips, so just add looks to the adjustment layer and go to edit. Here we have uh, all the tools for make a color correction. Um, usually I had uh, loot, it's basically a color correction preset. Go here and choose a loot from our folders. I had this loot, it's pretty basic. After adding the loot, I had colorista for make a uh, the loot uh, look as I want. Uh, here I can change the color of the shadow, midtones and highlights. Uh, maybe for this color correction I can go for blue shadows. Very dark blue. And for yellow midtones. Here we can change the intensity of the color and the brightness. For highlights, I'll choose uh, orange, so we have a really clean uh, color correction here. We can also change the saturation, uh, maybe I can go a bit down here. You can also change the saturation, the brightness and the uh, hue of each color if you want, uh, making a uh, I don't know, a selective color correction like uh, uh, I did in uh, La Porra, uh, making uh, all the colors uh, down like that and keeping only the colors that I want, like uh, red and orange for this example. Maybe something like that or you can select whatever color you want uh, you can also change the curves making uh, the highlights and the shadows uh, more intense or something like that or whatever you want okay i'll uh, keep this color go to exposure and add a, a stop Uh, had film grain Don't go too much with the uh, film grain. I'll keep uh, usually around the uh, two and three uh, With black and white so like that You can also add pop to the edit that is basically sharpness and makes uh, all the edges more uh, intense I keep this uh, around uh, 30 and 20 percent. If you want to make uh, a black and white color correction, you can just go to the camera and black add this black and white to the edit. I don't recommend to use these lens uh, tools because these blur vignettes are really ugly, even the chroma aberration just keep it simple when we done the color correction and you want to add a retro style to the edit just add curves and do this making the black to the gray and if you want you can add as glow Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.